I should thank uh, Ram Square here, both our brothers. And uh, my program is very sudden here. And uh, the most fascinating thing which attracted me is uh, a doctor in every middle class family. That slogan attracted me because I also belong to a middle class. Now, of course, I'm a senior scientist at ICMR. And uh, I should thank uh, Mr. Kiran also because uh, he's my close friend of mine. Uh, he is from Tirupati because I born and brought up from Tirupati. Um, I had my education, initial education from Sri Venkateshwara University, uh, Tirupati. I did my, my specialization in biochemistry. I was a gold medalist. Uh, then later on, I pursued my career with PhD, a PhD in biochemistry. Then I joined as a scientist. So now I'm serving as uh, uh, Senior Deputy Director and Scientist here for and heading cell biology division at uh, a National Institute of Nutrition, which is, uh, you all know that ICMR is an organization which closely associated with the Medical Council of India, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And uh, I have been very fortunate to serve country through the research. And also, I am an academician. I am closely associated with several universities as Board of Studies member like JNU, IIT Chennai, IIT Kharagpur, JNTU, and many universities. I am closely associated with my students also, students fraternity. And I'm very fortunate to be here. This kind of audience is unique for me. And uh, I've never seen uh, those students going, pursuing higher studies, and uh, I'm listening to the parents. They are very much fascinated to looking at the parents' eyes also. Few are emotional, few are ambitious, few are wanted to see their children in higher positions. Of course, every, yes, I'm also father, I have two daughters. I'm also uh, highly ambitious about my children. One of my child is uh, work, uh, pursuing pharmacy, and she's young pharmacy, second one is engineering. I'm unfortunate that I didn't know about this medical abroad previously, otherwise I could have sent. And uh, the feedback which I'm receiving from uh, uh, the parents and uh, the, the people I spoke to, and uh, Mr. Kiran, and uh, Sir Ram, yesterday and day before yesterday, I was speaking to him. It's uh, very tremendous. And uh, I was surprised how they are managing this kind of uh, uh, students going there and taking care. And uh, Rajaram is staying there with the children and uh, providing everything. Because I know myself, I'm a course coordinator, they, our institute, a National Institute of Nutrition, uh, provides courses, MSc in Applied Nutrition, MSc in Sports Nutrition. I'm a course coordinator, and I see every day, uh, day to day business is to see the children also, students, how they are, how they'll be coping up their pressure, because they are uh, away from their parents. And here also, the children are going, leaving the parents to abroad, and every parent, uh, the feeling that they are going to be in a place, in a safe place, where because of this, uh, like uh, America abroad, and uh, MBBS is a dream, and uh, pursuing MBBS is a dream, and you are all uh, going uh, to uh, uh, the dream, the dream which is uh, coming uh, true in future. I think after five years, you all will become do doctors. I am uh, very, I'm, uh, very confident that you all become doctors because your ambition shows that and you wanted to go there. And uh, the money, money plays an important role. The parents are providing, the students, there is no need to think of the money aspect, money angle, because parents are providing, they need to focus on the studies. Studies are very important because I myself is a gold medalist. I know how, how much struggle you need to endorse doing your studies to become, to achieve the goal. Goal should be target oriented. And see, now MBBS studying, MBBS and becoming doctor is a noble profession. You all know that. I think you agree with me. And uh, the avenues are many. The doctors are considered to be gods and people are looking to, through the doctors says that God is coming because recent past COVID has shown that how much doctors can play a role because I was also closely associated through ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research in developing the vaccine, Covaxin. I worked with, <laughs> so I worked with Bharat Biotech. Uh, this Krishna Ella is uh, known to me and I've been nominated by the government of India to develop the protocols uh, in animal models to see how much dose is required 
to elevate the whatever whatever the immunogenicity in the body so that kind of trials we did and a very fast rate nothing beyond in a global rate india has produced a vaccine and shown the world that india is very premier country in research so i am very fortunate that i have been associated with that and many people are very much worried of post mbbs see what is that we can do uh only the practicing and earning money no not like that see people are going abroad and uh, you are sigomel university and the place where you study that mbbs and come back and you have to uh, write the examination and to become uh, what you call that and uh, approved doctor in india see there are many avenues you all must be knowing at who uh, unicef united nations fao FSSA in India and many other organizations, they just, they are looking for the doctors. Many people doesn't know that only to become doctor means practicing in India, doing MD, you practice and earn money. No, that is not the case. You can serve the global also, global. You become global doctor. For example, yesterday I was going through the WHO website because I am fortunate to speak here. I need to share some of the views about the WHO also. See, yesterday when I was looking at the WHO, which is from Geneva, you know that, and uh, there are job opportunities for the MBBS students, those who completed MBBS. See, for example, surveillance medical officer and medical volunteer, epidemiologist, nutrition specialist, planning specialist, global representative, these MBBS students who had education from outside the country, not from India, I am talking of the people, the students who had their education outside the country, they are all serving globally, Ethiopia, Uganda, many, many other countries, small countries, where poor countries, the WHO is taking doctors and just deputing there by providing very salary, no, salary is very much, uh, you, you will not imagine also, the doctor's salary is, I was surprised yesterday because I'm a scientist, I'm earning, I'm a senior scientist here. No, I have my money in Indian term calculations, but when I see the WHO, the calculation for money is for, the, for a doctor, it's a whooping amount. See, doctors can earn outside, outside India also, working for a premier organization like WHO. Similarly, UNICEF. UNICEF, yesterday, this is very latest, I'm telling, uh, November 12th advertisement from the UNICEF website. You can also go through. They have advertised for the post of medical advisor, digital doctor. You Did you know about the digital doctor? No. Even I didn't know about the digital doctor. Who is digital doctor? This digital doctor, they are just taking the MBBS students. In the globally, they wanted to see the statistics. What are the, what are the kinds of issues all over the world? What are the problems, health issues? So they have deputed doctors in that they are giving little training digitally and they are deputing the doctors, MBBS, those having MBBS and also health officers and health consultants, medical specialists, uh, field advisors. Field advisor is a very specialized area where you can go to the field for a surveillance purpose. You can see in India also there are many doctors going to the field trials. They see, for example, government of India, you see the problem of uh, what you call that, uh, uh, like uh, drought in Rajasthan. See, no scientist will go and see, doctors only will go and see what is the status of the nutritional status, body, everything that they are called as epidemiologists. So, the field advisors, those people, epidemiologists, advised by the doctors. So, they have MBBS qualification. For example, FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, you know about FAO. If you, know, if you don't know about that, you please go through. Don't think that... MBBS is just for practicing and in India and earn money. No, you can work globally also. FAO, the latest, latest advertisement, today morning advertisement shows that the occupational health doctor, occupational health doctor. Did you hear any, any time about that doc, that kind of terminology for a doctor? No. I, because I am working in the occupational area, I know I work closely with the Alzheimer's disease problem and also osteoporosis. I work with the brain cells, bone cells. We know about the occupational health hazards. But a doctor working in the occupational area, occupational health means what? You see the toxicity, lead toxicity, mercury toxicity and many other toxicities available in environment. They, they are all highly polluted can, areas where the doctor has been deputed to see the health and to monitor the health of a, a person. 
So that is called as occupational health doctor. Like that United Nations, I don't want to go on speak about the, what are the opportunities. The, like this, the many opportunities are there for the United Nations also. And the FSSA, our own Food Standards Authority of India, in India also recruiting doctors. Doctors are required for the to study the food safety standards in India because I am closely associated with the nutrition. I am working for government of India in several committees nationwide. I go very frequently to Delhi to attend kind of meetings every week. One meeting I attended Delhi. Yesterday also I was at the ministry, health ministry, I attended a meeting. So doctors are everywhere. Don't think that only the few people doing research are researchers. No, doctors are also researchers and doctors are doing research. For example, for example, I'm giving the latest documentary evidence and proof. Our institute, National Institute of Nutrition located at Tarnaka, you can just go and see the website. You just see the doc scientist profile. Half of them are doctors. Half of them are MBBS. You know, there is no need for MD also. You can make an entry directly as a scientist, scientist B, with MBBS. And all scientists don't think that they need PhD like me. I did my PhD later on. I did my Doctor of Science also without a passion. I have PhD students. I have given awarded nine doctorates till now. There are five PhD students working with me. I have more than 55 publications. So I am no, in the doctor. Doctors in our institute not lesser than me. They are also publishing. They are also having PhD students. They are also it's very competitive in nature with us. So we are not competing with the doctors. Doctors are competing with us. So see, the doctor world is now global globalized way, everywhere doctors are involved. And for example, there are many fellowships available. Yesterday I was browsing the net because the, my audience are very premier. I need to deliver a little bit more what I know. The, there are fellowships. There are fellowships available for the MBBS students. See, you will be surprised to see the areas. For example, emergency medicine. One of the emergency medicine is one of the premier area. And the second one is the diabetology. And third one is the family medicine. The fourth one is the medical emergency. The emergency medicine, what is the difference between the medical emergency and the emergency medicine? Yes, there is a difference. You can search that one. These two are different areas. And the infection diseases. There are many diseases available in India. I mean, see, everywhere you see, everywhere you will be having antibiotics. Go to doctor, they will be advising a kind of antibiotic. Antibiotic means you have some kind of infection. Though there is a specialized area that is called infectious diseases. These are all the areas where they are recruiting MBBS people. They are giving fellowships to the MBBS students for completing these kind of fellowships. The second one is the MBA. People think that you do BA, become BSc, then MBA. No. MBBS student are more. Just now I was speaking to uh, Mr. Kiran about the opportunities for MBBS student to be, do a, a business program, MBA. MBA, you see, the data which I got from the net is hospital management. Hospital management is a very specialized area. Anybody can do. But an MBBS doing in hospital management is very good for the hospital to manage the hospital. The second one is the health care management. Health care management is nothing but to take care of the health of the patients in the hospital. How? A doctor can only do that one. I'm, I can't do. I'm an MSc PhD student. But I can't do how to take care of the health. I can only guide this kind of problem is there, this kind of research we can do. But I can't advise the medication. The third one, the third and important one is from the MBA program is hospital and health systems. A very specialized and narrowed area. There are not many people in that area. Only MBBS people opting for MBA having this specialized degree, hospital and health systems. That is a very specialized area. You can choose that. So opportunities are plenty. Don't think that I am, or come on, I am going to do MBBS. What is next? No next. Everything is available in the system. You can just go through and see. Opportunities are plenty all over the world. Don't restrict yourself to India. COVID came, 
Everybody is talking on WhatsApp nowadays. Everybody is on mobile. Now, just now, while having tea, one of my colleagues here, one pair of parent, was showing the audience here to somebody somewhere that these people are in the WhatsApp video call. So, the, this is, we are all living in a global village. Don't be restricted to India. You do your MBBS, fly off, you go. Because I myself spent a lot, lot many years at the USA. You know what? My profile says that I did my, as a visiting scientist, I was with NIH. NIH, you know about, if you don't know, you just see. NIH is National Institute of Health. It's a premier government organization of USA. I was uh, very fortunate that I worked as a visiting scientist at University of Georgia at Atlanta. So I was there almost four and a half years. Still, I'm guiding my own students there doing PhD. I have my lab there. I'm guiding from here. See, we are all living in a global village. Second time again I went, during 2010 I spent two years. I published a lot many papers. My, my collaborator was very fortunately, my collaborator was, is a person with MD. You know, MD, MBBS, MD, working at USA, my collaborator, doing research with me, competing with me. And again, third time I went as a visiting scientist from a very prestigious fellowship from the ICMR. For about six months, I went to USA. So, the opportunities are plenty because I went outside the country. I have seen, I have seen people living there, the atmosphere, how the flexible they are. I need to, uh, uh, I need to little bit tell about how if you do your course outside the country, how you will be. You will be like this, I have written few points here. And you will be very flexible, very flexible from your environment. You have to adapt to the situation because you will not get whatever you feel like. You don't get the paradise biryani there. You have to adapt. You don't get 200 rupees to buy things. You have 50 rupees only. You have to adapt. So you will be very flexible, competitive. And you, are, you will develop the character and personality. If you go outside the country, nobody is there. You have to live with the people available in your surroundings only. That gives a lot of character and also personality. And you will learn the work culture. You can definitely, you will find out the work culture outside the country is so different from the Indian culture. You will differentiate, you yourself will differentiate how work culture will be there outside. I'll tell you, how it, because I have been exposed outside the country, the work culture is like you have to plan. Everything is systematic. Morning, I was, I have to be here by 9.30, dot, I was here by 9.30. Because if I could have grown here itself, in India, if I have not, might, might have not exposed to USA, I might have not been here by 9.30, I could have done by 10 o'clock. Okay, it's okay. No, you ha if you are outside the country, you will definitely learn about the work culture. The freedom, freedom of expression. You will be more having a lot of freedom to express things here. I have seen many students and I am fortunate to see one of the uh, mother uh, like uh, expressing about the nutrition. If you provide more nutrition to the student, I am very happy that because I am from the National Institute of Nutrition. Parents also speaking about the nutrition. If you have more nutrition, your brain work will, uh, functioning will be more and you will be more dynamic. And see, with the plan, you can have freedom to execute. With that, you can be more innovative. If you are innovative, you can do many things. See, these are all things you can develop outside. You need to have ambition. You need to have the life-saving system. You have to develop that. I am a doctor. I have to lay, save the life and, and also the extend the life, extending the life and restoring physical and mental health. These are all the objectives for the doctor. Once you become doctor, you have to do all kinds of things and make possible from the impossible. People think that Are you try something, Are come on, Are I can't do this. No. You try to be there only. If you don't know the problems like what uh, the pre previous president was telling Abdul Kalam, you, face, you have to face the problems. Then only you will come to know what is the problem and with the problem only you will find the solution. If you don't face the problem, you will, you will not know about the solution. So you have to make possible from the impossible and you need to be uh, achieve good name and fame to the parents also because parents are supporting you. You have to give it back to the parents. See, so simply sending and making the flight, you go off and that's all. No, you give the name, you get the name and fame 
to the for the parents also parents should be very proud once you achieve many things there outside you need to be dynamic responsible and be humble and also uh, highly skilled and learn the skills and you need to be more enthusiasm and get name to the village where you are born get name to the town where you are born and get name to the people who are sent from here like medical abroad if i am missing something i'm sorry for that thank you very much for giving a, a very good opportunity and thank you <laughs> mr alexander for being here to be with you thank you Double one four five four five.